Oh, it's right then, guys. Obviously, as you can see, my brother's in the background there, doing a bit of baiting up. We are back out, fish on Fridays. We've uh, found a new little spot, Google Maps. Never trust Google Maps or leave early. <laughs> we started fishing a little bit late. Uh, we got to the mark, couldn't really find it very well. Uh, then we had to walk down a cliff for about 45 minutes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're right out of the way. Uh, somewhere on the, the east coast. But you know, we're gonna keep that one to quiet just for a minute because it's somewhere new. Um, I'm pretty sure not a lot of people fish here because it took us a while and there's not a lot of footprints. <laughs> so uh, me and my brother are gonna fish it a few times, see if we can't get ourselves a few fish before we uh, mention where we are. Uh, yeah, it's a banging location. Obviously, good old prawn bait. Then we've got the launch there by Wrigglers. And that's what we're gonna be fishing today, guys. Keeping it simple as we always do. We've got the uh, the good old pulley panel. I'm going to use size fives today, just for the fact that we're only after smooth hounds. Well, we're not only after, but the main target is smooth hounds and bullos. We've got a lovely set of rocks to the right and a lovely set of rocks to the left. So we're bang on in the middle. Hopefully, we can trap one in between. Pretty sure it's going to be a nighttime mark, but I have been wrong before, so you know I'm not going to. Give myself bad luck just yet. Riley Roo, I'm not gonna lie, I did have my hoodie on, you know, with my logo and that, fancy dangled. Walking down that cliff, I soaked it through. <laughs> so I'm just down to a, a dry t-shirt and I've got another dry hoodie in the bag, but you know, if I get cold, I get cold, it is what it is. Right, here we go, here we go. Right, there we go. I'm gonna show you all. You know how I do it anyway. Obviously, look through the head. Nicely done there. Bit of whip whip. This is for all the newbies. Big love to all the new subscribers as well. I mean, incredible really. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, thank you. I mean, you must like it. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna keep doing it. Right. Obviously, if you haven't subscribed already, you know what to do. Buttons down below, show the love. Whip, 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 be right there. That's got smooth round written all over it, bruv. Right, we have got some peeler crab as well. Um, we've got some squid. Uh, we've got a little bit of black lug as well. Uh, you never know, there might be a bass or two here. It, the ground is, it's like mixed ground, so it might hold a few bass. But obviously, main objective of today is to get my younger brother a smooth round or a bullus because he ain't had one yet. Here it goes, look, he's just about to send the bait out. And there it goes. Boss, right out there, boy. Using six ounce grippers today. Uh, there you go, there's bait number one. Right, same again. Oh no, this one's got chinnies on it. Size four chinnies. Yeah, I'll leave them on there. They'll be all right. On this one, I'm literally just gonna put first bait going out. Just a single bit of launch, a single launch, half a launch. Um, got them scissors, scissors, boy. Oh, oh, as you know, we don't do take twos. So <laughs> you see a few, few boopers, here's what it is. You know what I mean? I ain't got time to do it twice. <laughs> I'm already late to fishing. Right, come on, baby. Bait's still really frozen, which is ideal. Because we're going to be here a while. We've got a few hours fishing, so hopefully I can get you guys to out. Tail off, as always. Head off. Bosh. First hook in. Come on, bays. Let's get it. Whip, whip, whip. Nay, 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 nay. Come on. I just want to get in the water. <laughs> We just drove it, well, we both just finished work. Dro drove an hour. And then I uh, thought we'd be fishing a lot earlier than this, but you know, sometimes new marks, when they're hard to get to, you know, they are hard to find. There's loads of little paths that go off to different directions and things like that, I got lost twice. I had to climb back up and then go again. But, you know, it's all, it's all loving, loving games. Right. Then one round once, round twice. Back through the bait, pull down. There you have it. Bosh, lovely bait. Maybe a ray, something like that. 
Uh, I'm going to put some big, uh, big squid baits on in a minute. So, uh, yeah, not much left to do really. Just belt these out, make a coffee, and uh, yeah, we're fishing. Hopefully, we'll get a fish. If not, we'll bring you back as always. And uh, hopefully, we can get Lucas on the camera with a few fish as well. Because he ain't had any out in a while. So, right, I'm going to get to it in a bit. Right then, people of the two. Obviously, haven't yet mentioned, but obviously, I did mention that I was going to get some new rods. They are not new. I'm not going to lie and say they are new. Uh, I mentioned it in my last, last video uh, about this is what I was saving up to get. And uh, good friend, won't mention any names. <laughs> well, I probably will do, but uh, maybe I'll ask him first. But a good friend managed to sort me these for a very, very good price. I mean, uh, less than half price for both rods, so uh, very happy. So here we go. We've got the Zoltron XT 435 matched up with the Pen Fathom 2 casting special. Let's see if we can't send the bait out there, Bill. Right then, I'll just adjust you there a little bit. You're gonna send it, maybe. Right, it's a bit of a dodgy angle, because it's higher above me, so. I don't know if it's gonna work. But we'll try. All we can do is try. Um. Let's just uh, cut you off there because it's a big stick. I'm just trying to get a better position on the back. Right, let's go. Where's you going, guys? Hey! Back now! Right, put this one down, get the next one out, and uh, hopefully, see you in a bit. Right, Lucas is on his first bike now. First cast, first bike, so just hold and see if you can feel it. When you feel it pulling away, Luke, wind down and just lift, give it a good little strike. And then don't forget, rod in your groin. Keep reeling, bro. There you go, he's on there, isn't he? Reel down, reel, 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 and hit it. Is he on? Alright then. Did it come off? That's alright, just keep reeling, get another bait in. Reel, reel, reel. It might be swimming towards you. Well, guys, look at that, that for a fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> there you go, Luke. First fish of the day, boy. No wonder it didn't pull off. Wow, look at this. It's, I mean, it's that small, but, but look how cute that is. Wow. Incredible. Right, we'll get that one unhooked and put back. Oh, he's already unhooked. We'll get him back. Put him back. As you can see. Oh, someone down the beach has just had a fish as well. <laughs> he's getting excited. Absolute banger. Not sure what it is. Bass, is it? Bass. Oh, it looks like a lovely bass. Well, hopefully we'll get a few of those as well. Oh, I've got a bite now, and I'm. Yeah. 
busy night, Luke. Well, bait has gone. Sand deal. Pull it a little bit. Oh, now it's going towards me. What a bait. Well guys, the guy down the beach wasn't a bass, it was an eel. Not a bad size eel though, to be fair, so fair play to the young chap. Might pop and see him in a minute, go say hello. That there was nailed on the chinny. Just dribbling now, I think. But what I'll do is I'll get this one on because it's going to be a lot of faffing around and then I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, well that was a bit manic. Obviously it's only dogfish, you know, but, oh yeah. There he goes, there's little Mr. Doggy Dog Dogfish. So that's one each now for me and Lucas. We've literally just started fishing, so it might get a bit manic. Hopefully we get a few other species, but if not, we're on the fish, having a laugh. Obviously you just said, Lucas gets, my brother gets just as excited as me catching fish. It's just one of them things. One of them feelings when you've got a fish on the end of the rod, just can't explain it, you gotta get out and do it. Right, I'm gonna get this little right. chap out. Luke has just picked his one up. He's just having small taps on there. <laughs> We're on the fish. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. I'll just put another, I'll just put a crab bait on. So, I'm just gonna walk down the beach a little bit. Obviously, because I am trying to lever them out. The last thing I wanna do is uh, put my brother on the sweep. Right. But the plan's working so far. We've had some fish. The other few, the other couple of kids down the other end are having fish as well. So I'm gonna wrap this one out. I'm gonna leave you running just in case Lucas gets the fish. So we can just skip straight to it. He's absolutely buzzing, he's shaking. He's gonna hopefully he catches loads tonight. That'll be great. Right. John? No. Hey, Lucas is into another fish. Keep reading, boy. I'll send you for that. We'll have a look here. Well, that one flew out. These rods are incredible. Come <laughs> they come off, did it? Yeah. Get a new bait on there, boy. Get it back out. Right. He was on there, though, when I first came Yeah, he probably might have just hit it a little bit early. Be all right. You'll get another bite in a second. Right, racks it on, just in case, good old smoothie smoothie do. Yeah, two seconds mate, I'll show you how to do that in a second bite. Right, just going to show him how to put a few baits on and uh, back in a minute. Right guys, <laughs> well what a fat fat was, Lucas is just setting his other rod up and his rod went hooked into a fish, just had his first ever bullos. <laughs> and I went, I didn't even press play on the camera. Oh, and then I lost one in the surf. So hopefully it's gonna be a good night. Literally, the lad just down there, the young lad, he's just had a nice one about, looks about five, five maybe plus pounds. So hopefully we can get into a few bigger ones. I'm just gonna smack this bait out. It's just a nice little, uh, little prawn. But yeah, should be a lively night. A bit gutted. Lucas just had his first bull us and I didn't get it on film. Um, but I'm sure there's going to be plenty more. That's the thing, isn't it? Do you know when you're in your, into your fishing and you're all getting excited, things go wrong? Well, it didn't really go wrong, but we've seen the fish, that's all that matters. And I'm sure we'll get plenty more for the camera. I apologise on the camera now, Luke. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Right, right. right. We'll get him out and next time we'll show you his. He's probably did a proper camera bit as well. Right. Let's get it. Right, Lucas has literally just got his second rod ready. And uh, his other rod's just gone off again. I mean, oh, got a bite on this one. It's taking a bit of line. I've got a bite on both rods. Oh, that's a better one, I think. It is absolutely going off here. There we go. Good bending her boy. Fish hole! Fish hole! 
Hopefully it's not a dogfish. And I don't lose it like I did the last one. So I keep winding, keep the pressure on the fish. Hopefully we'll be rewarded. Cast out a fair long way, so it might just be a dogfish feeling heavy. Hopefully it's a fuller. Like I said, my brother's just had one, so it'd be nice to get one as well. He misses, he missed that fish, but I'm sure he'll get plenty more. Right, I'm gonna get this one in, I'll be back in a minute. Right guys, there you go, another dogfish. The reason that one felt really heavy is because I accidentally foul worked that one. Obviously you can't help it, it happens. Uh, but it'll come out quite nicely. It was only in the side of the fin there, so it'll go back. Raw, raw, raw. Most of dogfish. Uh, Lucas just lost one as well. There's gonna, I think it's going to be a night for it. There's going to be plenty of them. Oh, it's just slimed me up as well. So get this one back in a bit. Got him on now? Didn't miss that one, did you, boy? There you go, there's a little bend in the rod there. Rod in that side. <laughs> That's it. Keep that pressure on, boy. Uh, when you get a bit closer, because you don't want to give it too much line, because I think that's when they're coming off. There you go. Now slowly walk down. You can see a leader coming out of the water. That's it. Just slowly edge forward. That's it. Real, real, real. Perfect. I know it feels a bit weird, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Keep reading, boy. What is it? Let's have a little look, shall I? There you go, double dogfish. Double, double dogfish. <laughs> there we go, son. There's fish everywhere. One on the three, baby. <laughs> Right then, let's get more rods out in a bit. There it goes. Obviously, Lucas has got soft hands. <laughs> it is a little small for us. It's got the nasal flaps. Right then, go on then. Go put them back, boy. I'm back. Right. Four rods. Let's see if we can't get eight fish at a time. Well, well, as you can see, Lucas is there now. Both rods out of the water. We just had three fish in a matter of minutes. I mean, obviously, dogfish is a dogfish, but I mean, it's all the same. It's kicking right off. He's having a little buzz, he hasn't been out in a long time. But uh, he's, I told him he could do his own baits now because I've got to get my rods in the water. Hopefully tonight, the smooth rounds come in. I mean, the bigger bullets will come off the rocks. So I'm pretty confident we'll get a good fish tonight. There's plenty out there anyway. We've got plenty of bait. I bought some multi-pack sand eels as well, some big ones. So obviously I know it might be like this. So you never know, we might, we might hit the 50s fish tonight. <laughs> But, oh, yeah, there you go, rods are bouncing again. So hopefully, it might be something a little bit different. I'm still gonna bring it back anyway. I'm on the monster now. It's gonna be a lively night. Well, it's not even night time. It's been really about half an hour. Um, yeah, fish are cast. So, I mean, Lucas just had two on the panel. That's how many's out there. So hopefully it'll be a good session. We won't be too tired because <laughs> there's a big ass walk back up that cliff. And yeah, I've got a fish on the left hand rod, so I'm gonna get it in and uh, we'll see if there's anything on it <laughs> in a bit. <laughs> Both of Lucas's rods are going again. I've got one on this rod. Is that a better one, Luke? Feels it. You might have two on again. <laughs> that rod's going, he's got one on that rod as well, bouncing away. It's <laughs> well. kicking right off. Oh, there's all my rods going off. Yes, the bays, we're on the fish. Good little one, is it? Look at him, look, it's only a small one. Oh, I think I just missed it. <laughs> I missed it. Getting out of fish by my brother. Yeah, What's that now? It's like 6 3, isn't it? Got fish on that one as well. 
Go on, boy, put that one down. If you let that one on the floor, get your other rod in. I'll unhook it for you in a sec. Because this one, I missed whatever was on this one. <laughs> Kick it right off. I'm really impressed with these rods, guys. I'm not going to lie. So much more confidence in hitting the lead. And it's going out <laughs> a fair way. But this rod is the one that I'm putting in a bit closer. There you go, bait smashed. Bosh. I am using bigger hooks, so I might not be able to pick the small ones up, but I'm sure the bigger ones will come along in a minute. Oh, look, in it. It's on there, mate. It's been rattling away for ages. I just don't want him to catch any more fish. <laughs> right. I'm going to get his other fish off quickly, give him a show to the camera, and then uh, we're going to quickly get this rod back out. In a bit. Well, it's right then. Go there in. you go. Another one for Luigi. You're at teeth on him. Okay, oh, he's been a turkey, this one. <laughs> <laughs> he's got teeth as big as yours, boy. Right, <laughs> that's it. I don't even know how many that is now. I think that's. I'm gonna go with five. I've missed a few. I think I'm on two. He's out fishing me today. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad he's on the fish. He's buzzing. Right, let's try and catch us a mega one. Lucas has just had a lovely bite on that rod. He's <laughs> just got to have a quick. Quick tink tinkle in the bushes. Rod bent right over. Smash and grab, we call that. <laughs> Hanging in the stand. Oh, it's the other rod, Luke. Other rod. Put that, put that one down. I think it was that one that went in. Oh. There you go, it's bouncing around. <laughs> oh, there you go. Pick it up, boy. Is he on? Yeah. Fish on. That's all right, keep him coming in, boy. Oh, he's pulling out. Go on, boy. Scrap on. <laughs> Go on, lad. Yeah, he's giving that really good run for its money, isn't he, boy? Yeah. It's alright, you keep reeling, I'll go and get it. Go on, keep it coming. Oh, he's done it, he's got himself a nice filler. Come on, give him, get up, get up, get up, get up. Hey, there you go. That's a mega one, that. That's a PB, boy. There you have it, guys. Look at that bad boy. Oh, raw, raw, raw. There you go. That's Lucas's PB, Huss. That's what we're after. Look Target achieved. Woo. We're going to get this one on the scales because this is his PB. Oh his first one. Up the boys. <laughs> mega fish. Right, we're getting weighed and then we're getting put back. We'll let you know how much it weighs in a bit. <laughs> Lucas is still shaking. He's just putting him back now. Um, seven pound two ounces so he's absolutely gassed for that that's a new pb for him you just got to take a minute to chill get another bait on and uh, hopefully he can beat it again i mean and hopefully i'll catch a fish he's smashing me at the minute so uh yeah right i'm gonna get some fresh baits on bring you back in a bit you got another bite on have you look at that look wow she's straight into another one you never know mate it might be a monster Live on camera, boy. Right, I'm going to... Are you pulling hard? Smaller one. Right, I'll bring you back in a minute. I'm just going to get some baits checked. Right, guys. Bit. Got 
got a bike. Oh, mate. There you go, look. Put it away. Snap off. Did it? I'll get you another one in a sec. It's all right. Just use one up, mate. Yeah, you can just use one. Is it the bottom one? No, the bottom one's all right. Oh, that's right then. So it's just like that. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, he's on there now. Let's see if it's anything different. Well, I think it's swimming towards me. Oh, I missed it again. I think I'm going to have to put smaller hooks on. I can't have my brother beat me. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll put that one back down. See if it comes back. There's a big bait on that one. Well, if it comes back, I'll bring it back. If not, send some more baits out in a bit. Right, guys, obviously, as you can see, it's getting dark now. So I'm just about to put some crab and some prawn baits out. Hopefully, we can get a hound, the other species that we're after. Obviously, Lucas is smashing it. We're getting a dogfish a cast. He just had another one, a smaller one again. So just flop that one back. Obviously, you've also had a few dogfish now, so... We won't film any more of those, but if we get anything else, obviously we're going to come back anyway. Oh, there you go. Lucas Rod's just gone off again. <laughs> it's going to be one of them nights. It's a bit manic. Hopefully we can get a few more species, but if not, you know, it is what it is. We're having a laugh. We're having fun. I'll get smashed by my brother. <laughs> right. We're going to get this bait on, send it out, and hopefully we'll get you a smooth round in a bit. Well, as I was saying... Well, as I was saying, Lucas is smashing me again. Another hus. Obviously, this one's a little bit smaller. I'd say probably about two and a half, maybe three pound. That first one was a mega one, but hopefully he can smash it again. We'll get a few doubles in. Right then, give him a little stroke. <laughs> Bark to the camera. <laughs> right, get him back. Get him back, boy. Get another bait out there. In a bit. Bosh. Right, guys, as you can see, we are into darkness now. Connor's got his minion headlight on. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Oh, he's singing for you. A little bit bloody this one from the oak, but there you go. Dogfish, dogfish, dogfish. We've had loads now. Thought I'd just bring it back, show you this one while I got it. And uh, yeah, obviously just to check the lighting and that. So obviously it is working. Uh, I think Lucas has had about 12 now. I've only had about seven, so he's still winning. He is one up with that hus proper naughty little fish that I've literally just had a bite and I told you guys before I was using a new line I can't trust it I literally just had a lovely bite massive slack line I was reeling down to it swimming towards me so I think it might have been a bass managed to catch up with it and then as I tightened up tink line just went so uh, yeah that'll be coming off as soon as I get home and I'll be sticking to the asso line uh, yeah so I really don't I hope I can get a fish on it, on it, but uh, I ain't got any faith. If I get a big bite on that rod, I'll put it back out. But um, we'll see, we'll see. Right, gonna get this little chap back now, and uh, hopefully we'll bring you back with a better fish in a bit. Right, guys, quick update. Uh, I think Lucas is on about twenty dog fish now. <laughs> uh, well, including that big bullos he had. I oh, had the smaller one as well. Obviously still a mega fish, PB for him. Uh, we're at high water now, so we're going to fish another three hours. Fish it down, because uh, obviously we've never fished here before, so it might even fish better on the on the outgoing tide. I've had a couple of dogfish since that, that missed bite. Well, the line failed on me. Um, I'm not too sure what it could have been. I mean, it didn't break in the eye or anything like that. It was well out of the eye. Uh, maybe... When I was reeling in at one point, it's caught a little bit of rock or something. Because as soon as I hit into the fish and it bent over, like, it started to go. Just tink! Straight back, split down the middle. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not, 
I'm not uh, going to use that line anymore. Straight back to the other stuff. You got a bike? No, it's not a line. Oh, turn up <laughs> You got a bike? He's been having bikes all night. Right, so we're going to fish hard. I am fishing just prawn baits now because I do want to try and get a uh, smooth hand or a bass. I'm going to put crab on the other one in a second because that's what I have my big bite on. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully we get some more. Lucy's still buzzing. Uh, so we're going to fish a few more hours. Sorry, I thought I'd bite them. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to get climb back, <laughs> climb back up mountain, as they call it. And then about another 30 minute walk from there. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we get some more fish. If not, we'll be back for the, but back for the outro anyway. And uh, yeah, in a bit. Right guys, well, bite seems to have died off. I mean, it was expected. Obviously the water's completely slack now. So hopefully once it starts to pour hard out again on the ebb, we'll be able to pick up a, a bigger fish. Well, a bigger fish or a better fish. I would say a fish, but I mean, we've had plenty of them. Lucas is up in like 22 or something like that, 22 dogfish. Well, including his two bullets that he had, nice ones. Um, I've only had a few dogfish. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely turned me over tonight. I'm glad we haven't put any money on it. <laughs> it's getting a bit chilly with the little northerly wind. Well, it's like uh, northwest, something like that. It was westerly, now it's gone northwesterly. So it is a little bit of a chill in the air. Obviously clear skies and all that, but um, yeah, we're still hopeful. We've got about two, maybe two hours left. So, two, well, maybe three, well, it depends. Do you know what I mean? We don't really have a time limit, but that's what we're sort of thinking. If it kicks off and we start getting some mega ones, we'll uh, hang on for a bit. If not, you know what I mean? We'll pack up, head up there. We've had a great session so far. It's been good to catch up with my brother as well. I haven't seen him for a while. So uh, hopefully I can get a PB tonight because he's got one. And then uh, that will top the night off. Or maybe even just a uh, different species or something. Well, I'm fish obviously, like I said before, I'm just fishing prawn now. Got a couple of crab left, so hopefully we'll get a hound. I mean, dogfish, you know, any fish will take it. So whoever's out there, we should pick them up. Lucas is just putting a double squid on. So hopefully he'll get himself either a bigger bullus or maybe, you know, a smooth hand our partial to take a bit of squid as well. Right, anyway, on that note, I'm gonna get me a coffee, because it's getting a bit chilly, and uh, bring you back in a bit. Ooh. Right guys, tide's just started flowing again. And uh, as expected, the fish are back. <laughs> Uh, I know this looks like a dogfish, but it isn't. It's my first hustle of the night. There you go, look, there's the nasal flaps. I mean, it's probably about two and a half pound, something like that. Not massive, but beautiful all the same. And there you go. And all we need now is daddy, mummy or daddy, or maybe grandpa. Gert 20 pound or something. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. There's my first hustle of the night, so hopefully there's a few more to come. Maybe a bit more weight here. Oh, right, I need to catch up with me, brother. Got to get this one back and send out another bait in a bit. Well, guys, species number two, little strap or boot lace when they're this small. <laughs> but all the same, another species. Uh, that one there smashed a triple sand deal. <laughs> He's been uh, tapping away for a little while. So uh, I'm gonna get him on out and put back. There you go. All of you that haven't seen an eel before. I mean, most of you have, but there might be people watching that don't go fishing. Um, they're really slimy, covered in snot. So I don't want to touch it too much. So get it all over me car seats. Right, well there you go. Species number two. Still got about an hour and a half left. Probably hear the fire crackling in the background. Got a little bit cold, so we decided to have a fire. Obviously, if you're going to have a fire on the beach, guys, make sure it's below the tide line. Obviously, we've moved down the beach now, so, you know, it's safe. 
we're going to put it out before we go, make sure it's well put out. So, uh, yeah, there we have it. This one's going to go back. I'm going to send out another bait. The dogfish have seemed to have slowed down now, so hopefully we won't just be catching these all night and it'll give a chance for something else to find our bait in a bit. Right, guys, as always, we are on the famous last cast. Um, obviously, it's been a banger of a night dogging with my brother on the beach. <laughs> uh, obviously, he had his PB bull us as well, which is a bonus. Uh, so, target fish acquired. Unfortunately, no smooth rounds of bass this time. We definitely will be coming back. Uh, definitely fish is a lot better on the incoming tide here. Not so many fish on the outgoing, just the odd strap eel. Uh, we've had a couple of them now, and we're starting to get plagued with them. So we're going to call it a night. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, but don't see you before I see you after. And if not, I'll see you on a bank in a bit. <laughs>